together with five other schools and organizations, we are currently working on a EU project called Carbon Footprint Training in Vet Schools. The project has a duration of 28 months and we have planned a lot of activities during this period. The first task of our project was to calculate and analyze the carbon footprint of our school, which we have already completed. Now we would like to present you our results, so let's start. The main problem of the CO2 emissions is the rapid increase of the planet's average surface temperature. This process is called global warming and has a huge impact on our climate, which in turn causes a change in our ecosystem. First, let's take a look at our school. The College of Engineering in Wolfsburg is a technical school with about 600 students and 60 teachers. Now let us show you the results of our carbon footprint calculation. What you can see now is a simulation of emissions our school produces in one year. There are quite a lot of bubbles shown. There are 850 bubbles with a diameter of 10 meter each. But what are the three biggest producers of CO2 emissions? As you can see, 76% of our CO2 emissions result from mobility, meaning most students and teachers use a car or other motorized vehicles to reach school, while heating and electricity together cost almost 20% of the emissions. It has to be noted that both can be considered to be environmentally friendly. Mobility is one of the main challenges our school encounters when it comes to the reduction of CO2. In our school-wide survey we found out that almost half of the people in school get here by car. Other means of transport are far less popular. But let's take a look at what we found out in our survey. Dear Mr. Schmauzer, what do you think is the biggest source of production of CO2 in our school? I think the biggest CO2 producer at our school are the people itself because they always drive with the motorcycles or the cars to the school. Okay, thanks for your opinion. Hello Emil, if you had to guess, what is the biggest source for the production of CO2 in our school? My first guess was the heating of our school. Indeed, we get the heat from a company nearby. I also think that the transport is the biggest producer for our CO2 in the school. Thanks for your statement. How do you normally get to school? I normally ride my moped to school. Why do you ride your moped to school? Well, I guess it's just convenient. Would there be a more environmental friendlier way to go to school? Well, technically I could go by bicycle, but that's... Yeah, it's just not convenient. Why not? Because it's quite far and it's up the hill, so... I can't really use that every day. Okay, thank you. How do you get to school normally? Normally I go to school with my car. And why do you choose to do so? because it doesn't take that long. Is there an environmentally friendly option you can choose? Yes, I could choose my bicycle. And why don't you, sir? Because it takes me much longer to go to school and when I go home, it's going uphill, so I would be very sweaty when I'm home. Thank you. Okay, Gottfried, how do you normally get to school? I usually take the train. Ah, okay, and are you satisfied with the train and bus connections from your home to our school? So far, I only had good experiences with it. Ah, okay, and how comes that? It's probably because I live near a train station. Ah, okay, thanks for your time. Hello Nikita, what could our school do to inspire more students to try to get another way to school? Um, I think the biggest problem and also one of the big reasons why so many, so many students want to go to school by car is because uh, the waiting time for the bus is so long, so if you want to do something productive but you hate for the bus, it's not good. So. Um, I think that if we fix the bus routes, some students will have the, a good way to go to school. It's affordable and also environmental friendly. Thanks for your statement. Dear Mr. Janski, as you know we have finished our analysis of the current CO2 output for our school. Were you as surprised as we were about the high amount of carbon dioxide that we produce through transport to and from school? Yeah, it was really surprising for me because, as you know, we as a, a public school have a lot of uh, equipment here and so it was quite surprising f that result. Uh, but one reason for that, I think, is the district heating we are using and so we do not use uh, much uh, CO2 emissions in our heating and electricity, especially in heating, uh, but it was really surprising, yeah. Uh, in your opinion, why do so many students choose their car or a moped to get to school? 
Yeah, I think because you you asked the question because we know that much uh, the most uh, amount of our CO2 emissions come now from our transportation, and I think maybe there are, there are several reasons for that. One is of course the opportunity to uh, use the public transport. So in the morning that should be not a real problem, but especially in the evening. Uh, there are not that many connections for all of the people, so they use their own uh, bicycles or cars or motorbikes. And there's of course another another reason, because especially in that age, uh, you are really happy if you have your own bike and maybe you have your first car or can use the car of uh, parents. And so maybe that causes that we have uh, that many transportation. Another. A uh, topic that we can maybe uh, point out here is that we have a parking slot here in, in the surrounds which is free of charge, that means that it doesn't occur any costs for the, for the students and of course in, in big cities that's a uh, totally different uh, situation. And are there any steps the school is going to take in view of the results of the survey? Yeah, I think that is one of the uh, ideas of the project itself, so that we will have now discussions with the public transportation uh, authorities. And of course we also will use other, other uh, experts, uh, maybe photovoltaic systems and so on. But especially in the field of, of transportation we have to uh, get in contact with um, public transport authorities and of course also to uh, raise the awareness of the students and the teachers. Thank you for your time, Mr. Janschke. Uh, what we did was actually analyze the invoices for uh, district heat and for electricity, uh, plus an inventory of all the auxiliary materials, including paper, cleaning agents and so on. Uh, the students were very active in surveying their mobility habits regarding uh, transport medium, regarding distance and all these data were brought together uh, regarding their carbon equivalent. The results were quite a surprise. Mm -hmm.